Yep. The problem with Paleo is that every game is just so long. <laughs> Even if I keep winning, it just takes a long time. Especially when we go second like this against a meta deck, it will take a lot of times because, you know, unless you're playing against Lapin, then it's different. But the most common matchup is like Snake Eyes. You can go be second against them. And then you take like a lot of turns to break their board. Uh, I actually think Snake Eye is a, yeah, speaking of which, is actually a uh, better matchup for us here. Labyrinth matchup is worse, that's for sure. This is a good hand. We have reasoning. Maybe they don't have access to like Zed Jet Synchron, so I just. You know what? Normally, I would be very upset because I fight Snake Eyes all day. This is my chance to show off the deck against the most common matchup right now. But I'm actually going to take that because we are not lacking Snake Eye replays and it takes a lot of time to beat them. Let's get to the deck profile. Okay, so Snake Eyes was indeed the most common matchup in the ladder right now, for me at least. So it was pretty easy, but it also takes a lot of time, as I said, uh, during the rank up game. Also, I think that's the main reason why we reached Master 1 this season, because they were all Snake Eyes, most of them. Because I actually think the matchup against other decks, for example, like Telemans and Labyrinth, are not that great. They are not that great. We could win, but one mistake and we go down. And even when we play perfectly, we could still lose. But against Snake Eyes, I, oh, sometimes I do make mistakes, but I do win against them most of the time. The win rate against Snake Eyes is actually crazy. So let's get to the deck right here. We have 60 card Paleozoic. First off, no grass because I don't want to grab it. Okay? I, I rarely play 60 card decks. Just, just, just to, to uh, throw it out there. I rarely play 60 card deck. I'm not going to craft it just for one deck. Um, and this is limited. But you should play it. You should always play grass. So to fill in with other options, we have right here. I actually think all my traps are good. So yeah, if I fit grass in, it's going to have to replace something else here. It has, I mean, I could play two with me. I could play uh, grass instead of this guy. But it's pretty cool. So let's get into the list here. We have, first off, three King Backjack, very important monster. We have Fairy Tail Snow, obviously. The Lady Labyrinth will help you against the Labyrinth matchup. So if you have this, your Labyrinth matchup is going to be much easier to deal with. You could run a lot of these. If your most common matchup was Labyrinth instead of Snake Eyes, but since it's Snake Eye for me, so I don't bother running too many Lady right here. We have Unchained Soul of Shiyama. Which I am testing it out. You are going to see in the replays that I even played Ipira and Obelisk the Tormento because it's a Royal Rare I played with Soul Energy Max. So I was testing out a bunch of things and I was happy with this one. Although I don't think it's optimal, you could play like if you have grass, I would consider running grass instead of this guy. But uh, and also this guy is the extra, like I don't think you need to run it. But it is pretty funny. It is to unbreak your transaction rollback in the hand because not always will you have the Dynamiscus to dump. Uh, roll back into the graveyard. Uh, you need to discard something, right? So uh, this one's pretty nice. It's also uh, a fiend, so it does synergize with fiend griefing, which sends backjack. Also sends this guy if you want to. So yeah, there you go. We also have freeze reasoning to surrender tribute to needle ceiling. We're running two here because of trap trick. So um, I think torrential. Uh, I still like torrential over needle ceiling, but needle ceiling is like activatable. Whenever you like to, right? As long as yeah, they are four monsters. And uh, Torrential Tribute can miss timing. So it's pretty annoying when they chain block all the stuff uh, into the summon. And also, if the summon is not the final action, like Big Welcome Labyrinth, you can never use Torrential Tribute. Not that Torrential Tribute is great against, Lab against Labyrinth anyway, but just throwing it out there. We also have three Reckless Three to accumulate a fortune, three Nidobuck Nest, uh, three different Dimension Ground, which is a great card against Tillman and a no K card against Snake Eyes. You would think this is very good against Snake Eyes, but uh, the Snake Eyes, they send to the graveyard for cost. So you have to activate this immediately. Uh, Tillman sent to the graveyard through effect, right? So if you chain this to the effect, you're going to gain like a lot of advantage. But against Snake Eyes, you have to turn this on immediately and they know what's up now so they can play around with it, play around with it a little bit. So I don't even think this is a great card against Snake Eyes, but it is pretty good. It is pretty good. We also have Fiend Griefing, which can send Shayama and Backtrack, as I said earlier. We also have two Storming Mirror Force, two Balance of Judgment. This is a very good card. Um, because Paleo runs out of card very quickly and they all 
your value is in the graveyard, right? So this is gonna draw a lot. I like this card. I really like this card. So we're running two in case we want to trap trick it. We also have the Paleozoic uh, trap with Olenoids, two Olenoids, three Dinomiscus, three Morella, three Leoncolia, and we have Rise to Full Height, a two cop. We also have Evenly Mashed, a three, Trap Trick, a three, and the very important card on the second, which is Strike. If I have an opportunity to run Richard Strike, I will. And noticing Snake Eyes, if their hand is like decent, they can go into Baron. So this, this is awesome. All right, so this is awesome. We have two copies, Ice Dragon Prison, three Daruma, and finally three Transaction Robash, which makes Marilla and Leoncolia much, much better. Before that, you cannot run, uh, you cannot uh, run uh, Leoncolia efficiently. Now, it puts back Robash in into the graveyard, and uh, you have another interruption, so this is great. That's why we run three uh, Leoncolia. In the extra, we have three Anomalocaris, three, uh, no, two Anomalocaris. Did I say two? I don't know. Three Opabinia, one uh, Onibimaru Soul Sweeper. We also have Downer Magician and also Zeus. Uh, we have the Link Monster, which is Link Kurivo. And this one I don't think is correct. You should run something else, like a Dark, perhaps. Uh, I don't think this is um, optimal. I never got into this guy. So, uh, yeah. I also wanted to test out the Mosquito, right? Ninja Shadow Mosquito. Uh, but I haven't opened it yet. And it's from Legacy Pack. I'm not crafting it. So, yeah. You could replace it with something else. We have one copy of Paleozoic Cambro Raster. We have Unchained Soul of Anguish because you have Shiyama, you can actually make this. We have Zero Boros with a combo with the snow. You can OTK them. We also have Unchained Abomination and finally Underworld Goddess of the Closed World. Many exciting replays actually. I wonder what do you guys think of those? Which is like is like my favorite card. <laughs> As I said, whenever I was able to run it, I will run it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Thanks for sticking around for the deck profile. And I will see you next time with a different deck. And tomorrow is the new pack, right? The new pack, yes. So the meta is kind of slightly changed a little bit. I still think Snake Eyes will still be the best deck. But there's going to be Rescue in the mix. And uh, very excited to see that.